Hello everyone and welcome back to Saurian where we are here with Runin and his herd who are currently just chilling out in the floodwaters and uh, I think headed back to the far shore by the look of it. Are we headed in that direction? Yeah, it looks like we are. Okay, we're gonna just head across this way and so far things have been going pretty well, not gonna lie. Uh, we did have one incident where we lost a herd member unfortunately but uh, since then, things have been going better. We've actually fended off a number of T-Rexes. Is that an alligator on the other side here? That is, it looks like. I, these guys probably aren't a threat to us anymore, are they? I, I would assume not. You're, you're pretty small. Probably not going to hurt us that much. I think you'd probably end up trample damaging them just that way. Oh, oh he's just dead. Okay, yeah, those guys really aren't a threat anymore. <laughs> Well, sorry, random alligator. Uh, your death was not in vain. It was for science. Runin just wanted to make sure that the the little tail biters don't have any uh, any threat to his herd. But uh, we are actually getting closer to being a super adult. We're at almost 14 years, you can see. And I believe super adult starts at uh, 16, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see for sure. But uh, that's kind of the... I guess the ultimate end to this for now because as far as I'm aware the nesting uh, hasn't been added to the game yet and we definitely will have to come back and check that out once it is but for now this is kind of uh, we're drawing near to the end of the story so if we make it to super adult today this will probably end up being our final episode but uh, and, and also with that the conclusion of rune and story too now that's not to say we might not uh, we might not see him or his Descendants again? Who's that? Who's that? There's a Triceratops over there and it's not one of our herd mates. Who are you? Oh, it's falling night too. This is not the um not the best of times for this to happen, but that's definitely an adult, I'm pretty sure. I think Runin would He's trying to be a little more social. He would possibly call out a greeting. Who is this? Let's let's bring the herd this way and see. Let's head this direction. I'm pretty sure the white is the direction the herd is moving, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like this one is headed towards the water. Is this another potential herd mate? Or is this a competitor? Are you charging? You're moving in this direction. I can't tell if this is male or female. It looks like a female, I think. Doesn't have the bright spots of us. Did we gain a herd mate? Oh, are you one of us now? Hold on. Oh, I think we did. Rene, 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 I think. Oh, cool. Okay. Oops, I keep I always I always do that. I always hit escape to exit. Oh, well, welcome to the herd, Rene. Uh, it is good to see you. So, yeah, I guess we've just picked up another super adult triceratops here. That's pretty cool to see and she looked pretty eager to uh eager to head over. I wasn't sure if that was going to be another um, another male, because I'm pretty sure if another male shows up, it seems like there can only be one per herd. They're like a lot of modern prey species like deer or elk, where there's one buck per herd, uh, one bull per herd, and uh, the and any any others that show up, there's going to be a fight. So I wasn't, wasn't entirely sure what we were in for, but it's good to know that others can join your herd. But yeah, Runin is very near a super adult himself, I'm pretty sure. And uh, we may we may see other stories pertaining to him in the future, depending on what happens with the Saurian updates. But uh, for as fun as it's been to explore the life of a Triceratops here, I think we are getting close to the end of the story. But we're also getting close to the dead of night. So let's have Runin take a bit of a nap here and we'll see how things are going come morning. Oh, and dawn has arrived. It is, it looks like it is daytime. It was late enough when we went to sleep that it actually is light out now. What is that in the distance? Is that one of the turtles? There are, um, there are, there are turtles in this, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm guessing that's probably what it is. It looks too big to be one of those little poison lizard guys. Oh, there's these guys too. They're just heading by. Well, there's something else off in the distance that way as well. 
And these guys, oh, they're they're moving away, which is probably smart. Yeah, I think this is a turtle. I think the other one might be as well. Either that or it's, oh, that might be one of the poison lizards, actually. But the guy over here, I think, is a turtle. And uh, we now know that we have trample damage. Are you guys thinking about picking a fight? Because truly, I would not. I think they are carnivorous, but um, I don't think that they're... Uh, they're gonna do too well against the rest of us. But yeah, we have seven Triceratops now. Look at that. Yeah, this is one of those turtles, too. Look at you. Look at you there. I'm gonna try not to trample damage you. Oh, he's moseying away. Oh, there. Okay, we'll catch up. We'll catch up. They're they're getting a little, a little more conscientious, too, of not uh, not leaving um, not leaving others behind, I think, too. Oh, our... Music changed. Our thirst is getting a little low. I, I assume we'll head back to the water eventually, but I'm not overly worried about it right now. If we need to, we can always push everybody to uh, to head back in the other direction. Or they might be doing that all on their own, actually. They, they do seem to be turning around, but they're kind of investigating the woods over here. And that's fair, because we haven't actually seen what lies uh, within the woods. We've only kind of been out in this open meadow here, which, although it is a very good... Um, very good place for Triceratops to be. It is kind of curious to, to see what might be on the other edge of the forest here. We're going to head into the trees a bit, I think, and just kind of poke around. Oh, hello, everyone. Everyone's feeling quite social today, it seems. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I just turned around. I just turned around. I just turned around. Warning. Bad. Very bad. Okay, we're gonna try and take this guy on. Who's getting hurt back there? Oh my goodness, I just was checking to see if anybody was getting left behind. And apparently, not only were they being left behind, but there is a T-Rex chasing. Oh my goodness, we'll have to see who this is. I can't tell. That That is one thing that I wish about Saurian, is I wish they had more, um... I wish they had more different, uh, different skin patterns in this because you can't identify who's who unless you uh unless you check the menu pretty much oh yeah this guy is getting pretty thoroughly demolished yeah you you got absolutely wrecked sir Whew. who was it who got hurt was it you i didn't see who, who it was i think it was this one who was further back are you all right we're gonna do a social display oh i hope you're okay oh it looks like it was Bernike? Bernike, I think it is. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these names. Oh, I'm glad we looked back when we did. I was just noticing that not a lot of them were in front of us. And, uh, was a little bit... Are you good? Hey, you might want to You might want to come back this way. We don't want you to be left behind. Especially not with a T-Rex that was just about... Yeah, I was just making sure no one was going to get left in the dust. I'm glad I turned around when I did. <laughs> Oh, we're we're a little bit at risk. Oops, of um, we're a little at risk uh, of having the the herd leave this one behind. I think this might be for Nike again, so we're gonna call them back this way. There we go. Just make sure that they catch up to her before um before she gets left behind. Yes, let's make sure she's all right. There we go. Now we can keep heading in this direction. Now that she's a little bit. Uh, a little bit better off. We might need to go back for water soon, but I think we'll be all right now. It looks like she... Oh no, she does want to go back this way. Okay. She must be thirsty, so I think we will head in this direction then. We'll explore the woods another time. Oh, interesting. I just noticed something. Uh, Philia here has the esteemed reputation, and so do we. I didn't even know there was another reputation here. Oh my goodness, wow. I think that is quite the change for Runin here, considering that he went from being kicked out of one of his first herds to um, to now being an esteemed member of this one. Now, I think... I think that... Has everybody gotten a drink who needs it? I was just checking to see. If we go here, we can see, we can look... Xanthe still needs it. Where are you? You're right here. You're heading down to the water. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're a little hungry, Phyllis is. And I think mostly everyone here is at least trusted. Phyllis is neutral, apparently. Chloris is trusted. I'm glad Rene is, uh, 
doing uh, doing well though, and is a trusted member of the herd. Philia, Philia, I uh, is of course esteemed, trusted, trusted, trusted. Okay, so we just gotta wait for Xanthe to get some water, and then we should be good to head off. I do want to explore the woods beyond because I think we're kind of near the edge of the map. Whoop! Camera go burr, I guess. Okay, this is quite a pretty forest that the herd is moving through, and look at it lit in the dying light as well. Fortunately, we're pretty good on water. There is a river that way, too, and we do have everyone around us, it looks like. I just want to make sure we stop to eat as well. But, uh, yeah, the woods here are... They are quite pretty. Uh, they still scare me a little bit, but less so now that we have a herd with us, because I don't think the Tyrannosaurus have been that much of a threat anymore. We're... We're pretty, pretty big and beefy at this point, and with now there being eight of us, that's, uh, that's quite the number for a Tyrannosaurus to deal with. We just have to watch that we don't lose anyone in these trees. Now it is getting a little bit later, and I think, ooh, are those the cliffs? I know the map is bordered on one side by the sea, and on the other by cliffs here. So I think that might be what we found, is the, the cliffs at the edge of the world. But it's going to be hard to get a good look at this time of night. So maybe we'll find some place to settle down and rest until morning. Oh, Dawn is here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness, the herd is on the move. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's go this way, actually. I had to turn them around because they were starting to get separated. We got five, six. Hold on. Seven. Okay. Right in the distance there, yeah. They were starting to get a little split up, so I turned them around. And it looks like these are indeed the cliffs at the world's edge. So we're going to head down here and get a drink before we explore them. But I'm kind of curious to check more out about this area. I think it's been a while. I think, was it Koros who was over here last? It might have been. I think one of our Dakota Raptors did go this way, but it's been a good while. Okay, we've got five, six... Whoa, oh, hold on. Okay, seven. We do have enough. We do have everyone, right? Yeah, one. Yeah, I think we've got everyone. We've made it up into the woods here, up into these slopes, and it's definitely an interesting place. Is that sky I see in the distance through the trees? Oh, we might want to wait to uh, to keep heading in this direction, because I think everybody else is still kind of getting closer. Is everybody else making their way up? I don't know if they're resting. One, two more. Two more of them are down there. Oh, three more. I see somebody coming up the slope there. Oh, some of them are having a hard time with the hill. Why don't you guys come this way, maybe? Oh, I don't want to leave them behind because they can't get up the slope. Yeah. These guys are a little bit difficult to get, uh, to get up hills, it seems like, at times. Maybe if we temporarily go this way, that'll help. You guys come over here. That should help you guys get up a little bit of an easier slope. Yeah. All right, now we can keep heading this direction. Oh, there's a Dakota Raptor down here, actually. We're just stopping by the water for a drink. Are you a juvenile or are you an adult? I think you're a juvenile. Are you better not be thinking of hunting? Yeah, that doesn't look like a full adult to me. That looks like a younger one. Can I keep an eye on him? Because we have brought down Triceratops as a Dakota Raptor before. But I don't know... Okay, he's running, I think. I don't know that these guys would be that ambitious. Hopefully not. If he gets any funny ideas, I have no problem just yeeting this raptor. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to take on Runin. We just have to watch that he doesn't surprise us. Oh, look at We're leaving tracks in the ground. Oh, that's cool. Is this yeah, it looks like it looks like some of us are leaving some tracks. Is it just on the bank here? Oh, it might be after we come out of the water. Oh, I wonder what like I don't know. I don't know what led to these traps tracks because it looks like we're leaving them periodically. Maybe there's a cooldown on it. But that's really neat. Oh, that's really cool. I've not noticed that before. Have I just not seen? I guess it's harder to see on the floor, on the like the forest floor, and not in the sand. Let's let's be a little bit more judicious about not swimming, though. I'm trying to get everybody to slow down and wait a little bit before we keep heading off in this direction. 
And we also are past age 15 now, so if it is 16 like I think it might be, we're pretty close to reaching super adult status. Oh, this hill could be a problem. I'm just noticing that uh, some of our fellows are not having the best time of climbing it, although they seem to be maybe finding a way up. If it's no... Oh, they're not. They're really not. Are we able to get up here? It might just push us back down. Oh, this might be the straight-up edge of the world, actually. Oh, yeah, I think we've reached the entire edge of the world. All right, let's 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 head this way a little bit, then. And just kind of meander around the edge of this basin. This does seem to be a nice place for the, the herd to live, though. Like, it's very green. Oh, my goodness, we just put our camera through a tree. Uh, a couple trees there. Is very green. There's plenty of water. It It's kind of just what Runin has been looking for. Maybe it seems like a paradise in its own right. Did you go all the way down to get a drink? It was Philea, I think. Oh yeah, she's down in the water. We don't want to lose her down here. And it is... It is getting to be a bit... Um, a bit dark out, so we probably want to start heading back this way. Oh! Yep, we're sliding. Okay then. All right, this is, I guess this works. I guess that's one way of getting down the hill. We'll put our camera in the water. Uh, I'm not so sure that they're gonna be keen on wanting to slide. Oh gosh. Uh, I just wanna like get out of the water and see what's happening because we've got some herd mates up there still. All right, I'm trying to figure out where everyone is. Uh, you are in the water. 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 You are up there. You are also up there. And you are also up there. All right, let's... Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, let's try and... Oh, oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're going to get bowled over. All right. This is really how we're going to lose a herd member. All right. Let's actually point this back up the slope so that some of these guys come back in this direction. And then I'm going to try and climb up and see if we can find any of the ones up here. And then we'll maybe try to go around the other way. We also do need to sleep. Alright, where are the rest of you guys? Can I get up here even? I want to jump, but I don't think I can. Alright, are you guys up here? Yes. Let's go this direction instead of straight down and see if that helps. Because this is maybe, you know, it looks like a paradise, but it's causing more problems than it's solving, it seems like. Wait a second. There's another Triceratops, and also we're to sleep to advance to the next growth stage, and also it's raining. Okay, hold on, you guys. I see a Triceratops. I want to investigate this. I want to go back across. I just started leading everyone this way because I wanted to get out of this. I can't tell at this distance... And it looks like we're about to become a super adult, too. Oh, that could be another male. I think Runin definitely wants to investigate this. Um, that kind of is... I can't tell if that's just the light, or if that's, um... If that is actually another male. The males are brighter in coloration than the females, and our whole herd is following us. So, ooh, I think that might be a rival. Well, Runin doesn't want this guy anywhere near the herd, then we will, we will call out a... We will do a social call. And see, are you friend? Friend or foe? Methinks perhaps foe. If you are friend, show me. But I think that's another, um... Another male Triceratops. All right. Yeah, that looks like it. All right, I'm gonna... We're gonna go this way. We might threaten this guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna threaten him. Because I think that's another male. He, he is leaving. He might leave us alone. Our, is our herd... Our herd is falling. Are we, like... We're still esteemed. Let's do a social call in their direction. All right. You, sir. What do you want? What do you want? Runin is gonna chase you down if you're not... No. Okay, this guy's too close. We're chasing him. We're gonna chase him. 
We're gonna chase him. Oh yeah, this is another male. All right, you no longer remember a herd? What the heck? What do you mean, what the heck? What happened? What? Hold on, do we get too far ahead? Oh my goodness. You're not a member of the herd. You're not a member of the herd. You're an enemy. Whoa. We're gonna get hit if we're not careful. Did we get too far away while we were in the midst of this? Okay, you know, nope, you leave. You leave. The trick is to attack the side. Oh my goodness, I think we're like going in and out of herd range. Oh, he's dead. Okay, did we? We're back a member of the herd. Oh my goodness, it neutralized our reputation. Come on. <laughs> I think that's one of the flaws with this. But we did, we did defend the herd. I was scared he was gonna come after us. To be fair, I think Arunin did get a little aggressive there, but at the same time, there is no telling if this guy would have come over and messed with us or not. I don't know how aggressive the wandering males are. But it does seem that you can end up with a fight with a challenger. Now, I'm assuming the reason that it it yeeted us out of the herd was because we got too far away. And I think it's supposed to warn you, isn't it, before you get too far away? It, it hasn't been doing that. And I don't know if it's supposed to or not. If that's not in the game, I would suggest that they add it. If it is in the game, it might be a little bit bugged right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I think this has, this has been a pretty good run. But it is going to allow us to sleep to advance to the next growth stage. Now that we are safely back in the herd, even if it did neutralize our reputation. I'm sorry, I'm a little salty at that. Um, but I, I, think, I, I think we probably just got out of range. But I do want to see what Runin looks like as a super at all here. I don't know if there's any change or if your stats just go up or what. But, hey, here we are. Um, let's go ahead and socialize. And there's a T-Rex. And he's headed this way. And what's he doing? Well, he's not headed this way. He's headed past. Yeah, you better not mess with us. He might actually be going over there to eat the other guy. <laughs> I think that's what he's fixated on right now, it looks like. Well, uh, survival of the fittest, I guess. But yeah, I think this is actually probably where we will leave this off. Yeah, he's he's fixed on the other guy. All right, well, if he ain't attacking us, that's not our problem. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the one thing that I'm not entirely sure about. The game is still in development, so it is possible that, um, that there's some bugs and glitches. But it does look like the rivals there can potentially be a threat because when we did get close enough to him, he did challenge us. So that's good to bear in mind if you're going to be playing this game for yourself. But that said, I think this is where we're going to leave Rudin's story. He has survived to become a super adult. He has defended this herd through numerous various trials. Oh, I am curious. Does it reset everyone's reputation? Trusted, neutral, trusted, esteemed. Okay, so no, it doesn't reset everyone's. I guess we just probably did get out of range. Are we still at neutral? Yeah. Oh well. I'm gonna. I'm a little bummed about that, <laughs> but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I think Ronan's story has kind of come full circle from, as a lot of you guys pointed out, watching his own herd, his own family defend uh, the herd against a Tyrannosaurus that attacked them when he was young, to now being the one to defend his own herd from rival challengers, Tyrannosaurus, and uh, some. Other questionable threats along the way? I'm still not sure how much of a threat those other herbivores would have would have caused, but somehow we managed to pick a fight with them. But yeah, uh, don't worry, you guys. This will not be the last we see of Sarian, and we may uh, we may see some other remnants of Rudin's story as well um, in the future, depending on the updates. I know that they are working on a nesting update, and that I think will be fun to play around with because it'll give us a lot more to to do rather than just wandering around and defending the herd as we wander, it'll actually give us a nest protect, and that I'm very excited to see what they do with. So I'm sure we'll be back to Saurian at some point in the hopefully not so far future. But as for Runin, I think this is where we call his story a success and let it draw to a close, because I think these guys are going to be all right. I think uh, no matter how exactly these guys ended up a little bit, a little bit peeved with Runin, uh, I think he'll be able to to make amends and continue to be able to lead them here in the future. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.